So, will they make this an aggressive one? Will it be one of those desperately tight tactical races where there was a burn up over the last two or three laps or even a shorter distance? And Barreca gets his head down. 150 to run, and the gap is opening up. Who'd have believed this? This is Kajelcha territory. Normally, he'd be doing this to the opposition. We know he's in supreme shape, the man in second place, but he has indeed been a wonderful pacemaker for this astonishing youngster through the second half of the race. But Ager, 25 metres clear. is going to finish in third as Gabriel comes through. But watch the clock. It's so fast. 12.43.02. That is way, way up there on the all-time list. Indeed, it's the fourth fastest time in history. That is quite astonishing. I was Today, I was looking at the, how many sub-13 clockings there have been over the years, and you have to go back to 2012, 2011, and that sort of era to find double figures of athletes going under 12, 13 minutes. Nobody had done it before tonight. Now he has done it in spectacular style, and he takes the win, does young Salomon Barrega. Gebru at 12.45. It's a world junior record, by the way, Steve just pointing out to me quite rightly. 12.45 for Gebruet, that's a personal best, he's back. Kajelcha, 12.46, a personal best for him. He worked so hard for that. But that is one of the greatest 5,000 metres we've seen for many, many years. And it'll certainly feature in the top five or six all time. A Diamond League record for Salomon Barrega.